Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to this series of uh, questions about electromechanical energy conversion and this is our third question about a transformer and as you can see here uh, we have the circuit diagram for the open circuit test and the short circuit test and that will be the topic of this question so and then we have a 1000 uh, va volt amp 230 by 115 volt transformers and it is tested to find the equivalent circuit so we have the open circuit test and the short circuit test the open circuit test was done at the secondary side or the low voltage side so we apply the rated voltage 115 volt and we measure the open circuit uh, current and the open circuit power which is the core loss so this is basically your core loss on the other hand the short circuit test was done at the primary side or the high voltage side uh, where we uh, have we apply a small voltage to have the rated current flowing in the windings and we measure the b short circuit test or the cover the cover loss so it says here, find the equivalent circuit of this transformer referred to the low voltage side or to the secondary. So that's what we want to, uh, to find. And then we will find the voltage regulations at power factor 0.8 lagging one power factor or unity and 0.8 power factor leading. And finally, the efficiency at the 0.8 power factor lagging. So we want to find first the equivalent circuit so we'll start with the open uh, circuit test and from that test we can find first theta which is cosine inverse of p open circuit divided by v open circuit times i open circuit and theta will equal to cosine inverse of 3.9 divided by 115 times 0.11 amps and this gives me an angle of 72 degree and then we want to find the y the admittance which is equal to as a magnitude the i open circuit over the v open circuit and as an angle it is minus the 72 which is equal to the I open circuit is equal to 0.11 divided by the voltage, which is 115, angle of minus 70, 72. And this will give me uh, a value of the admittance equal to 0 0.0002956 minus J 0 0.00. 0.9096 Siemens and from this this is 1 over RC this is 1 over XM so from this you can find your RC is equal to 33830 ohm and your XM will be equal to 1099 ohm so we found the magnetization branch now, from that, we move on trying to find from the short circuit test the leakage reactance and the winding resistance. So, same procedure, your theta here is equal to cosine inverse of P short circuit divided by V short circuit, I short circuit. And we have all the values. So, this is equal to 38.1 1 divided by the v short circuit is equal to 17.1 and the i short circuit is 8.7 and the angle is equal to 75.2 and from this you can find your z equivalent which is equal to v short circuit divided by i short circuit with the angle same angle 75.2 and this will give me uh, the 17.1 uh, divided by the current 8.7 plus 75.2 and from this this is equal to 
0.503 plus J1.905. So we found the, the values of the shunt element RC and XM, and we found the element of Z equivalent. Now we are ready to draw the circuit now, but what circuit we have to draw? Is it referred to the low voltage side or the secondary? So the circuit referred to the low voltage side or the secondary will be as such. This is your RC, this is your XM, and this is your R equivalent and X equivalent. Now, this, since this refers to the secondary, this is VS, this is your IS, this is your VP over A, and this is your A, IB. Now, how about the impedances? Now, since the RC and XM were already measured referred to the low voltage side or the secondary, I don't need to do any change. So this stay as the R, uh, uh, RC and, and XM. On the other hand, the R equivalent are measured with reference to the high voltage side. So when we refer it to the low voltage uh, uh, side, then we have to uh, divide by A squared. But what is A? A is basically the turns ratio, which is 230 divided by 115, which is equal to 2. So your A squared is equal to 4. So from this, this is, has to be over A squared, and this is, has to be over A squared. So from this, your R equivalent over A squared will equal to 0.503 divided by 4, which is equal to 0.126, and x equivalent over a square will equal to 1.905 divided by 4, and this will give me 0.476. So now we found everything we need to start the calculation. So what do we, we need to find? find the transformer voltage regulation at rated conditions, which is this, this is the conditions, the rated conditions. So we need to find the current IS. So your IS is equal to the 1000 volt amp divided by VS, which is equal to 115. And this will give me a current equal to 8.7 amp, which is here, it is the short circuit current. The rated current. Usually, when we conduct the short circuit test, we use the, the rated current. Now, symbol KVL, your VP over A is equal to VS plus IS times R equivalent over A squared plus J, X equivalent over A squared. Now, what is Vs? Your Vs is equal to, this is the reference voltage, which is the 115 angle of zero. Now, R equivalent over A square, X equivalent over A square, we already have them. Everything, of course, in ohms. So the only thing is find, and IS, we already know it, is the angle of IS. So for 0.8 power factor lagging, it means that your IS will equal to 8.7. And the angle is minus cosine inverse of that, which is minus 36.87. So if you do that, substitute all the values, then your VP over A will equal to the, the voltage of 118.4 angle of 1.3. So this is your VP over A. So what is the voltage regulation? Voltage regulation is equal to the voltage at the secondary at no load minus the voltage at the secondary at full load divided by Vs at full load times 100. But what is Vs no load? Is the 118.4 one, minus 115 divided by 115 and this will give me, of course, times 100, and this will give me a voltage regulation equal to 2.96%. Now, question becomes straightforward. What if I want to find the voltage regulation at unity power factor? In this case, your IS will equal to 
8.7 but the angle will be zero because the current and the voltage will be in phase and from this your vp over a it's the same formula that we tried here we have everything will be equal in this case 116.2 angle of 2.04 and from this, your voltage regulation would equal to the 116.2 minus the 115 divided by 115 times 100. And this will give me a voltage regulation of 1.04%. It's expected that at unity power factor, we have a lower voltage regulation. Finally, when the power factor is leading, in this case, IS is equal to 8.7, an angle of plus. 36.87 and from this your vp over a again just substitute in the same formula you will find that your vb over equal to 113.5 angle of of two so from this we can say that your voltage regulation is equal to 113.5 minus 115 divided by 115 times 100 and this will give us a voltage regulation one, minus 1.3 percent and this is expected that the voltage regulation for a leading power factor is a negative number because the receiving end or the voltage at full load will be higher than the voltage at at no load uh, condition then finally it says find the transformer efficiency now what is the transformer efficiency the efficiency of the transformer is equal to p out divided by p out plus the losses so we have two losses we have the p core and we have the p cu so we need to find the core loss now the core loss is nothing but the i square times the resistance so p core loss is equal to the secondary current which is the 8.7 amp square times the resistance referred to the secondary which is we already found which is 0 0.126 0 0.126 ohm and this will give me a total loss equal to 9.5 what p at the core will be the voltage here vb over a squared divided by rc so it is vp over a squared divided by rc now the question of the efficiency says find the efficiency at 0.8 power factor lagging so we will use the voltage at the lagging which is the 118.4 this is the voltage we calculate at 0.8 lagging so this is equal to 118.4 square divided by our rc which is 3383 ohm and this will give us 4.1 watt so these are the losses how about p out our p out is very very straightforward your p out is equal to the va which is the thousand times the power factor which is the point in this is the rated output power which is 800 watt so from this you can see that our efficiency is equal to 800 divided by 800 plus the losses 9.5 plus 4.1 and this will give me a total efficiency of 98.33 percent